Danke. Jaya Radha Madhava Kunjabi Hadi Jaya Radha Madhava Kunjabi Hadi Gopi Jana Badabha Girivara Dadi Gopi Jana Balabha Girivara Dadi Jasod Nandana Brajajana Ranjana Jasod Nandana Brajajana Ranjana Jamana Tiravana Chadi Jamuna Tira Vana Chadi Jaya Radha Madhava Kunjabi Hadi Jaya Radha Madhava Kunjabi Hadi Jaya Radha Madhava Kunjabi Hadi 
Gopi Jana Bala Bhagiri Vada Dadi Gopi Jana Bala Bhagiri Vada Dadi Jasodanandana Brajajanarandana Jasodanandana Brajajanarandana Jamanatira Banachadi Jamuna Tira Bana Chadi Jaya Radha Madhava Kunjabi Hari Madhava Kunjabi Jaya Radha Madhava Jaya Vishnu Pad Paramahamsa Parivijagachara Jasutara Sutasi Srimad His Divine Grace Isi Bhakti Vedanta Swami Shida Prabhupada Ki Anantakoti Vaishnavarinda Ki Gaur Premanandi If any of you haven't seen that spectacular film that Yadubar and everybody else put together, it's now available for people to view online. I recommend that you view it at least once, if not more than once. And <clears throat> it um, prompted me to think When there was nothing in the world as far as knowledge of Krishna, proper knowledge of Krishna, etc., etc., a, a, a world that was filled with turmoil and difficult times, um, Prabhupada came and started the Hare Krishna movement and we're thinking specifically about Vrindavan. It's not featured so much in that video, but he probably had wanted a temple in Vrindavan, and there was no temple. There was, you know, no Iskon temple, and now it's a um, wonderful project and. Not only, I mean, there's many factors, but a big factor of Vrindavan today has a lot to do with Prabhupada's popularizing Krishna, who had, like, you know, when he when he was starting in India, people wouldn't respond. He came to the West, which was the instruction of his spiritual master, and struggle, but voila. And then the Hare Krishna explosion, and he took those, you'll see the, in the film, back to India, and then people in India started taking interest. And then the interest in Krishna, which is indigenous to people born in India, uh, was revived by the singular effort of our founder, Acharya. And so many, so many, 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 so many literatures have been distributed, giving people an opportunity to become acquainted with he who he have they have forgotten. He said the same thing in New York that he said in India. I've come to remind you of what you've forgotten. And I was thinking about this specifically with 
this section of the Bhagavatam that we're discussing. Chapter 26. Specifically, it's um, Nanda recounting to the elders in Braja what Gargamuni said. So what Gargamuni said goes to chapter 8, Canto 10, chapter 8. Here it is, chapter 26. And then again it comes up in chapter 45. Is being repeated for a reason, it's important. And the verse that we discussed yesterday, the first of his messages, is very significant for followers of Lord Chaitanya because it's in the Bhagavatam, people that are not in the Gaudiya line, that there's verses in the Bhagavatam that point to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. This person, your son, has appeared in different colors in previous ages. I mean, it's explicit. So one of those is yellow. And there's abundant commentary. I didn't read it all. I was looking at it again. It's a very important verse. For followers of Lord Chaitanya, there's others, there's many, but that's it's, a, it's an important verse. And um, the verse that we're going to read this morning is um, a very interesting verse. And the commentary by our acharyas is out of sight. I mean, specifically thinking about Prabhupada giving in... in um, Chapter 26, this isn't Prabhupada, it's the followers of Prabhupada because Prabhupada finished, or the last chapter that he gave commentary on was chapter 13, we're at chapter 26. There's abundant commentary, and those who are working on that project chose to not present it, and it's understandable why, because it's, it's inexplicable. Uh, it's 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 mysterious, <laughs> and how can understand how can one understand that which is mysterious? Going back to yesterday evening, Canto two, chapter nine, text thirty one. The mystery, Sarahasyam, the mystery, and Prabhupada uses that phrase mystery, 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 again and again, and. It's, it's a mystery. Bhakti is a mystery. Krishna's pastimes are a mystery. What Gargamuni is saying is a mystery. And Nanda is explaining it in his way. And um, our commentators chose to not include any commentary and listen to the commentary of our acharyas. Ooh. How does mystery become revealed through bhakti? That was, that's that's a, a theme throughout the Bhagavatam. It's something that Brahma says in multiple ways in his prayers. And so I'm going to read something that's very mysterious. And it's not fiction. It's... Um, the realization of our acharyas, and they don't, they're not interested in fiction. They're revealing truths about Krishna that will help us appreciate Krishna. And his, uh, the, the last verse that we discussed yesterday evening was Brahma saying to Krishna that no one can understand your um, inconceivable potency. Of course, one can understand to some degree if Krishna reveals. So, however, Vishwana Chakravarti Thakur had things revealed to him. He's very generously sharing. And uh, hold on to your socks. So, this is K. 
Canto 10, Chapter 26, Text 17. And it's mirroring what was said in Chapter 8, that is, Gargamuni said to Ananda. Now he's repeating what Gargamuni said to him. And the, the text that he spoke this, chapter, chapter 8, is text 14. Here it is again, chapter 26. For many reasons, this beautiful son of yours sometimes appeared previously as the son of Vasudev. Not, I mean, the indication was sometimes, but it didn't say it's in this very lifetime, but it was in this very lifetime. He appeared as the son of Vasudev. Therefore, those who are learned sometimes call this child Vasudeva. So BBT has no purport, but here is um, the, the verse from chapter 8, text 14, where the short purport, this is Prabhupada, 